Hello, hard mode tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Trory Adventure Maps with me, Blue Ankylo, playing the story of Blue Cloud, as you may be aware at this point. <laughs> so last episode, we successfully finished off the Wall of Flesh using uh, Clockwork Assault Rifles and Magic Crystal Bullets, which worked quite well, as they tend to do on big bosses. So uh, yeah, that was good, and we've got a new area to explore, and things are great. Now, I spend a little bit of time off camera looking at my inventory, double checking with the recipe book just to see stuff to build. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to go for next. Um, I might make a new weapon just because I do have a lazy tooth rather than a good one. Although I do have, uh, what's his name? I do actually have the, the uh, reforger guy now. So theoretically I could spend some money. Four gold's not that bad. In fact, I might try to do that with the Magma Tooth, because I think it's probably a good weapon. Oops, drink, drink some soup, Blue. Just drink some... Well, it's probably not that bad. But um, anyway, I can do that stuff, so I didn't forget about it, or at least I remember now. Um, and then I was looking through, like, what else to spend Dark Souls on, and most of my stuff doesn't have a great upgrade. I actually want to make the Star Power Regeneration Band. Next time I find a, a Demon Altar, it costs those two plus, like, 4,000 souls. I think I'll build that next, just so I've got a faster regeneration kind of thing for health. Uh, I think that'll be useful, and I can switch that off with the Soul Reaper if I'm having a hard fight or something. On the other hand, um, what was I looking at? So you can sort of see what I've got. A lot of the low-tier weapons have upgrades to other mid-tier stuff, but I already have sort of better equipment anyway, so most of these things don't really improve on what I've got very well. Like, sure, there's probably some upgrades for the Gold Broadsword, but... I mean, either they require the hard mode boss stuff, or, for instance, this thing, 21 damage, it's only half as much as my current sword, so it's not like that's a huge upgrade or anything. Um, but there was a couple things I found. Um, da -da -da, what was I looking at? I think it's actually the phase blades might have a higher base damage. I think I have a blue one somewhere hidden down here. Oops, quit drinking your soup, Blue. Just kill the bunnies and then open the chest. Uh, yeah, the blue one, of course. Uh, although it's not a mod recipe, it's a vanilla recipe. 50 crystals does make the phase saber, which is a 52 damage fast speed, which I believe will beat out my 49 average speed. Although it should be fast normally, it's just decreased with that one thing. So you know what? I, I've had a couple comments talking about this one. I might as well craft it up right now. Um, I always feel, well I don't always, but recently I felt a little bit concerned that crafting, um, ever since I made that grappling hook basically, I felt like maybe using the non-soul recipes is a cheat, but uh, if I can find my crystals, which I should have some crystals, crystals, magic crystals, tasty and delicious, where are they, pretty sure I had them somewhere, could have sworn I had magic crystals somewhere. Um, either I'm blind or I have less magic crystals than I once thought. <laughs> Maybe in my uh, piggy bank or something. Dun -dun. Still not looking good here. Lots of money. In fact, I'm going to take some money with me so I can uh, reforge some stuff. Um, seriously, game? Oh, I forgot this chest. Ah, yeah. Well, that's only 40. I think I need 50 for this thing, right? Yeah, so much for that idea. I actually don't have enough. So one day I'll be able to build that. I forgot about this chest, so I've got more stuff I should look at for recipes. Uh, Muramasa, this might be worth it. I really like the Muramasa, and there's a Muramasa for 5,000, but doesn't do very much damage, I don't know. It looks, it looks, looks a little sketchy to be honest. Uses five mana, it's fast, but it's probably small, like I don't know could make the Light's Bane, or the Knight's Edge, sorry. I'd have to make another Fiery Greatsword because I wasted my first one. But I should have a Blade of Grass, a Muramasa, and a Light's Bane. Nah, I'll just wait for now. Sorry, folks. I thought I had it all set up. Uh, I'll put the lightsaber in here. I actually would need a new uh, Blade of Grass, too, because I upgraded that one. That's right. Uh, any other materials here? Do, do, do. Nothing too obvious. I've got lots of hellstone. You know, I could actually make another fiery greatsword. That wouldn't be too hard. Um, 
Yeah, all right. Oh, look, more crystal bullets. I actually had more. And there's the cursed bullet. See, I did have some. I just forgot about this chest last time. Oh, well. Uh, there is one other thing that I found while I was looking around. I actually already had a clockwork assault rifle stashed away right here. Demonic. It's even better than the one I used to fight the uh, the guy. So I don't know where I picked this up, but I actually had this long time ago. So I didn't even need to to uh, get that secret chest last episode. Anyway, uh, I think that's it for now. I do want to get some more magic going on. Um, some oh, shoot. I keep uh, sorry stuff. I uh, meant to kill the bunnies, but I keep picking up. Oh, I can't even put them back down. That's actually not good, in fact. If you can blow stuff up with a bomb by accident, then I can't put the sawmill back down to actually build stuff out of it. So that might be something to think about, Tim. Because if someone accidentally blows up their house, like I seem to do regularly, <laughs> you can't actually replace it down. And Like, if I actually blew up my anvil, I wouldn't be able to craft some stuff with it. Anyway, I'm uh, just saying. Uh, but uh, what I want to do is get some new sets of armor, so both necro meteor and also jungle have like ranged and magic sets that you can get from them um but i need like nine thousand dark souls to do the full transition so i just don't have enough right now but i once i've got a magic set of armor that instead of buffing all my melee skills buffs magic or something then i'll start bringing some spells with me a little bit more and doing that anyway we've wasted enough time i was trying to be tricky there and and uh it didn't work out so well almost blew up my house again all right, so back to the Hallowed Caverns. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure where I am at the moment. Somewhere down here. I wonder if it'd be considered cheating if I started picking up magic crystals off the floor. Probably. I'll wait till I find some in a chest or something. Oh, yeah. Gastropods. So, where are we? What happened to this? Yeah. So, we... We're sort of just exploring this cave. Um, if I go to the right, there should be a a large room that I haven't finished exploring. Oh, lots of stuff there. Cool. And uh, that's where I want to go, somewhere to the right, because I've been through this area before. It's been a couple days for me since I last played. Just wanted to get stuff uploaded and see what everyone had to say about it. So yeah, don't forgive me if it takes a minute to remember what I'm doing. I quite like this spear. I, I have to say, this is a pretty nice sort of entry to hard mode spear. Nice weapon. What's that? So there's Parasprites? Is that what they're called? Oh, and the Dark Elves. Those guys are scary. Hold on, what's this? More Crystal Bullets and some more Cobalt. That's actually a pretty good... That's a good haul. I'm glad I saw that because I must have missed it last time. Yeah. I found that dumb spear before, but, you know, this might not be a good place to stand. Okay, hold on. Two of them! I don't know, can I kill two? Killed one. Okay, come on, mouse, quick. That was weird, that was, sorry, but that was very strange what was happening with my mouse cursor there. I was shooting, like, downwards, and then I was trying to move the mouse closer so I could hover over his health, and instead of clicking in this, they're sh stabbing in the same direction, suddenly I was stabbing the opposite direction. It's just very awkward. Hey, a soul of light! I think that's our first one. Good. I need some of those for all kinds of random stuff. Like, tons of random stuff. Throwing... Ah, bolt! Three? Ooh. Right, so I can start working for ice three now. Lots of souls, souls of light, dark like dark souls plus souls of light. Ah, that might be worth trying to get. Yeah. Okay, and um, I don't need more cursed skulls. Godly forgotten ice rod, huh? Randomly cast ice too. That's kind of cool. Very Final Fantasy esh. All right. Keep them on knockback mode so they can't shoot me. There we go. Like a pro, right? Like a pro. Now, this area does seem fairly large. I think this is the big room? Maybe? Yeah, I think this is where I came down. Okay, so upwards... We'll go upwards later. For now, let's try to explore the hallowed cave. See if I can sort of find what I'm looking for, whatever it is. Laser rifle? Sweet! Rock on, everybody! What does laser rifle do? 
That's pretty cool. I bet you with magic armor that regenerates faster and does more damage. This counts as a spell, so that could be interesting. Actually, you know what I should do is check the roof a little bit better. Yeah, see, Tim likes to hide things up on the roof in the dark. Definitely likes to do that. And now that I can basically fly. Basically fly. There we go. Gotta keep getting souls alight. Oh, that was a jellyfish. Ah, bad sword. Alright, yeah, hard mode, right. Now these things, you just have to hit once. And then they stop charging at you, right? Drink a potion. There we go. No problem. Alright. And I did hear in the comments that I, uh... I could have got all my souls back last episode. Apparently they were chasing after me after I died. And then I went up a cave and I lost them. So I should have uh, gone a little bit slower maybe and I wouldn't have lost 7,000 souls or whatever it was. Or maybe that was a couple episodes ago. But You know, when the wall of flesh killed me and then I lost all my souls. <laughs> Would have been nice to still have a few of those. Light cloak, dark cloak, mana cloak. Well, everything costs a lot of dark souls now. I mean, I might be getting a little bit more from killing enemies. But it feels like it's still going to take quite a long time to get 15 or 25,000 Dark Souls. Like, I kind of wish these, uh... Oh, stop that. kind of wish these monsters drop more. What's that? Warlock? Oh, I don't like Warlocks. Those guys are not very nice. Um, dun dun dun. What was I going to do? I think I haven't cast my Fairy Spell yet. Oh, no, I did cast a fairy spell. I forgot the Mia Kato spell. That's the one. She actually adds a fair bit of light to the uh, world, so it's not a bad idea to have her out. Sort of spazzing around, flying. Oh, right, Mimic, bad. And yes, I do realize that the last one dropped a... Uh, uh, what's it called? A double grapple hook or whatever, and I missed it. I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to keep my eyes open this time. Get off! Get off! Hate it once they're too close, you can't hit them with the spear. Like, that's that's pretty annoying. But it has good range. Alright, so this time we got a Titan's Glove. Woohoo! What can we make with... Oh, wait a sec. Why did I leave that there? Keep those. Um, what do we do with Titan's Gloves? We can make fancy grappling hooks. Hey, that's cool. I could probably make that... Well, lots of, lots of souls. Can make Feral Glove that does more damage and knockback, or we can make Mithril Glove. That's cool. That's another Final Fantasy thing. Cool, cool. I like it. All right, let's continue our adventure. What do you guys think? Should I just open up the recipe book whenever I get a new item, just to show you what you can craft out of it? I think that's probably kind of smart, actually. Do another giant room. Oh look, I found a shadow chest hidden up here. Cobalt armor. Okay, well, that's the melee version. They're both melee version. Okay, that solves that. Lots of cobalt, some more holy arrows. Good deal. So I imagine then I will be finding a set of cobalt before too long. Okay, killed all those little things. Those are kind of annoying, the little sprite things. Parasprites or whatever they're called. What's that sound, by the way, guys? It doesn't sound very happy. Sort of growling down there. Oh, I can't quite fit through that. I wonder if I'm supposed to bomb that or something. We'll think about it. Ha <laughs> you guys stick over there and get stabbed to death. That's great. Do -do -do, just killing bats, you know. All right, there we go. Suppose you want me to read that sign, hey? Would you like Old Blue to read a sign? Black Belt set. Cobalt armor, plus some souls. Life regeneration, low defense. It's kind of interesting. Movement speed, night vision. It could be fun. L who, needs, who needs defense, right? Health regeneration is more important. Uh, whatever, some random potions. My, do my buffs keep going away? Yeah, I keep losing my shine potion or something. I don't want to retake everything, but... A 
Come on, bat. Yeah, everything has so much life on hard mode. It makes you work. All right, well, I'm going to try blowing this up because uh, I blow everything else up. Oops. Okay, get out of the way. Yeah, it worked. I'm assuming you're supposed to be able to get up here then. Most areas of the map sort of don't blow up if you're not allowed to, so. Except for your house. You shouldn't be allowed to blow your house up. It's not cool. What's it? Oh, that's fun. Uh, no, that's Warlock. We're going the other way. It's got 3,500 health, guys, and it does a lot of damage with magic. Maybe I'll maybe I'll kill one eventually, but right now they scare me. And I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay, uh, da -da -da. This is a pretty large area, and I'm feeling a fair bit lost, to be honest. Like, uh, all right, these guys, no knockback. There we go. 150 Dark Souls, that's worth it. That's worth the trouble. Yeah, this, this cave is starting to feel pretty huge, actually. I might have just connected up to somewhere I've been before, but I'm not 100%. Oh, I found a Demon Hunter. Good. What I wanted to do... Well, first you can see the uh, Cobalt upgrade to the Cobalt Helmet. Ancient Horned Helmet for 3,000 plus Cobalt. That's cool. Uh, I think the Cosmic Power Band is what I wanted to make. There's also the Black Belt stuff. Cool. Cobalt. All, all the cool Cobalt weapons. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind, too. Alright, what I will do is, for now, just craft the Cosmic Power. You know, I shouldn't have brought all my money again, too. I, uh, I had all that money for reforging stuff. I forgot about it. <laughs> you know what? Let's go deal with that right now, because I don't want to die and lose my money by accident or something. That was, that was kind of silly of me to keep that all those platinum coins. Okay, Let's just reforge our sword that we've got right now. Actually, the spear. Let's see if we can get a better spear. This is what I use the most. It's pretty cheap. Uh, speed and critical, eh. Legendary, I'll take it. Alright, so legendary ancient bloodlands. Well, that's good. That'll keep this uh, useful for a little bit longer. Awesome. And what else can I reforge while I'm here? Cobalt repeater? Sure. Six gold's a little bit more expensive. Deadly. Well, there you go. Speed and damage. I'll take it. And then the sword. Why not? A little bit of money. Well, that didn't help. Still not helping. Mm, I don't know. Is that going to work? Let's see, let's see what the uh, massive one looks like. Uh, it's not bad. 47 damage. It's faster than it used to be just by getting rid of the debuff. Try a couple more times. I've got lots of money. I don't want to waste everything, but no, that's not it. Six gold, maybe? Pointy. At least damage is good. Superior. There we go. Let's just stick with that. Okay. Size isn't the biggest thing. Size doesn't count. <laughs> it's the way you use it. Um, so superior magma tooth. Yeah, that's not bad. Legendary, deadly. Is there anything else you can upgrade? I think... Uh, Technically, I could upgrade uh, my... Unless you can do armor this time, which I doubt. No, can't do armor. I could try to upgrade, like, my my things here. 2% damage isn't bad, actually. You know, I'll just keep that. 3% um, damage, 1 defense. We can get better than 1 defense. Oh, that's expensive. Wow, I, I should be careful here. One more. Melee speed. Sure, that's not too bad. This has no buffs. Now it has a little bit of damage. Now it's a little bit of defense. Critical hit chance. What do you do? Mm, come on. Movement speed. I'll take it. And how expensive? 15 gold. Four defense. Well, that's the max for defense, actually, so I'll take that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it too much. You can upgrade your stuff a little bit here and there. All right. Let's go uh, try to quickly stash some of this stuff, if I can. I know I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, potions. Let's just drop a couple of the new potions in here. Archery potions? Did I not have those somewhere? I must have. Oh, also, don't throw that away. I keep forgetting to take those out of my uh, crafting slot there. Let's just store that important stuff there. I should have mithril somewhere. There we go. Or cobalt, sorry. That's... I could probably make a cobalt drill with that, but I don't know. I bet you I'm not supposed to. Like, the cobalt drill will open up a bunch more of the map. I bet you I'm supposed to wait before I craft that. Um, 
Although it is actually in the Dark Souls guide. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, it doesn't feel like I should have it. Because to the right I needed the Molten Ham Axe or the Pone Hammer. To the left I'm pretty sure all I needed was the Mithril Drill. So it feels like if I got that, that might be cheating. I don't know. Just, just saying. Uh, quick stack. Quick stack. At least I get rid of the hearts. Let's get rid of the flowers. Whatever. I've got lots of those. Shine potion back down. Oh, the laser rifle. Laser rifle. Um, okay, that, that's enough space. I just wanted to open it up a little bit better. Let's continue our, our journey here. Let's throw that away. Actually, wait, one more. Do I have a slot? Yeah, one little slot there. Let's put the Titan's level away. Good. Okay, good. Let's continue on. And we'll just drink all our potions, whatever. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, last episode we read a sign that said this is another upside down world. Woohoo, upside down world. Okay, so this is that one, right. So I have been here before. Let's head back downwards. Oh, there's a good spot. Yeah. Take that, you guys. Awesome. I'm actually, I'm actually really having fun with this spear this time. You know what I need to find? Uh, it was in the Omnir set, and I'm hoping there's something awesome in here. Uh, it's the Dragoon, the Dragoon armor, the Dragoon set. In Omnir's, it was just awesome. It was epic armor. It wasn't like the best for defense or damage, but you did like double damage when you were falling while jumping. So like you'd fall down on someone with a spear, and you get double damage, just like in Final Fantasy. And that would be epic. I would love that. Alright, Dark Elf Mage. I'm not afraid of you guys anymore. No problem. Although you guys are still a pain. Yeah. Anything that you can't knock back, much, much harder. Okay. Alright, so this is supposed to have been another entrance. Pick, 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 pick. And yeah, I'm sorry guys, apparently I did make the molten hat, molten pickaxe when I didn't need to, but oh well. Okay, so this just connects up with the Obsidian Temple, or whatever you call it. So I've been through all this before, no big deal. I guess that's why it's, it's close to the volcano, that's why we get the up and down effect. The, the gravitation, get off of me. The gravitation effect. Get out of here, meteor heads. Still, I like having these areas connect up. It's nice. Makes it feel like I haven't missed so much stuff. And I was reading, just looking through some of the crafting. There's some pretty awesome upgrades to these boots coming up one day, guys. Pretty awesome looking stuff. Come on. Okay, the bats are just a little bit annoying. The bats and the chaos elementals. Probably the two most annoying things so far. Not like super, super difficult, just annoying. But you can kite them pretty well with this spear, like that's, that's pretty good. Okay, I didn't go down yet, did I or did I? Can't remember, did I go this way? Probably not. Sign! Essence of mana. Mana crystals, philosopher's stone. This is not Harry Potter. Get out of here. Philosopher's stones. Okay, shadow chest, I like it. Hey, the rest of the cobalt set, awesome. Well, now I can start thinking about that. Got some holy arrows, whole bunch of money. I forgot to put my money away. <laughs> and a cobalt sword, let me guess. Don't throw your cobalt out, Blue. Cobalt sword, just the Excalibur? Okay, so no cool cobalt upgrades for that. Um, what about like the chest armor? The chest armor lets you see the buffs. They're like the set bonuses. Crystal armor sounds good. Melee speed, melee damage. Wow, that that could be really nice. Very bad for magic and ranged. Uh, we could go black belt gi. We could go ancient magic plate. Melee speed, mana, and ammo. Yeah, the this is the demon altar. The sorry, the demon plate and the magic plate from Omnir's. Yeah, they're kind of like everything sets. They've got pretty good armor, like not the best defense, but they've got a little buff to everything. Yeah. So that's cool. Plus 6% damage for everything. I think though it might be cool to make this crystal armor at some point. Um, all you need is cobalt and some more crystal shards. That's not too hard actually. 
Just gotta get more crystal shards. Maybe I should be smashing them as I go, but... Oops. I see you guys up there. Yeah, there you are. Alright. I mean, and feel free to leave comments in the suggestions. If you think a set of armor is way more overpowered than another, let me know and I'll think about it. You gotta, be, you gotta understand, I can't craft everything, so, like, I am aware that, like, most pieces of vanilla armor and weapons do have an upgrade. I just, I can't afford, you know, I don't have enough souls to build everything, guys. So, you gotta forgive me when I can't build just everything. I have to be a little bit picky. Uh, I actually went through all of my soup, didn't I? Okay. Ow. Stupid pixie things. Get off of me. So those things, maybe not the best weapon to fight with the spear. Like, not the best enemy to fight with the spear. What, what, what? Did I pick up a gills potion again? I know I can I know I can I can click it to turn it off. Where is it? Where is it? Got it. I do know stuff like that, but I generally figured it was safer to just teleport back. Why do I have a gills potion? This is ridiculous. Tim, did you drop gills potions just to kill people when they use the auto buff button? Is that how you do it? <laughs> Feels like it might be. Okay, I have been down here, this is backtracking. Still can't drink a potion for a long time. I've still got space in my inventory to pick stuff up. Okay, let's go this way. I don't think I've gone this way yet. Although, to be honest, this place is pretty mazy and I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Okay, I think that's a new sign and a demon altar. Tomb of Health. Spell tombs, crystal hearts, crystal shards. Ooh, a healing spell. Very nice. Um... Cure in Omniers was very overpowered, but, uh... Oh, look! I actually could make Ancient Magic Plate right now. I don't have enough souls to make the full set, though. Or the Black Belt Key. Hmm. Tempting. Not sure just what I'm going to use my Cobalt for, but uh, we'll figure that out eventually. Oh, Cobalt Hat. That's the Magical Hat. Good. Another Clockwork Assault Rifle. Some more Mana Potions we don't need. Yeah. Hmm. I have to think about what I want to upgrade. I have a feeling this might be the way to the next area, actually. So I'll have to go backwards if this is a new area. Because I don't want to miss anything in that case. Stupid bat. No, no, no. Dang. Those things hurt. Damn, Illuminati bats. How many souls? It's only 7,500. It's nothing. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really been leaving very good uh, teleport spots. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try to find our souls and then I'll wrap the episode up, I think. Not sure how much longer this cavern's gonna take, but uh, I cannot lose those souls. I gotta go pick them up. So let's be careful, guys. Be very, very careful. Because I was just thinking of what to spend them on. Because I, you know, I'm getting close to nine thousand, which is about what it takes to get a suit of armor upgrade right now. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. Am I going the right way? Am I going the wrong way? It's a mystery. I am going the right way, I believe. Also, feel free to let me know if I'm supposed to be smashing these crystals, because I could use some more magic crystals right now. I'm just not sure how I'm supposed to get them. I'm probably allowed to take them off the ground, probably. But I could use like the phase saber upgrade, and I could use the armor upgrade, I think, with the magic crystals. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, so it was up, and then right, and then down. Oh, that was my fairy. Did you guys ever do that? Do you stab your own fairy thinking it's a pixie? 
I bet you guys do. Oh, and yeah, it was the mummies making the weird noise. Of course it is. Okay. Get lots of light souls at the very least. This is a nice area for that. Okay, this is the big room. I didn't really go down, so yeah, there is an area that way. I can pick this up while I'm here. Kill that slime while I'm here too. Alright. Okay. And up here should be my dark souls. Give me my dark souls back, game. There we are. Alright, I didn't miss them that time. So, 8200, yeah, I'm very, very close to the armor upgrade if I want to spend 9000 again. I also got my money, that's nice. Um, I was kind of expecting this to be either a dead end or a new area, so I'm kind of just looking around a little bit more. Even though I know I should probably end the episode pretty darn quickly. I, for I keep forgetting about my upside down walking abilities. Now that I can fly, like, it's not as necessary, but it's still very cool. Like, I, can, I can use this to explore pretty fun. It might not make fighting any easier though, to be honest. Okay, let's make sure I don't take too much damage going up. Okay, that's... Not going... Okay, all that upside down fighting wasn't really doing me any good. Get off of me. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just no 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 stop that. Um, what did I press? Press something. No 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 shoot! Oh boy, that's not helping. There we go, found it. I got a whole bunch of extra keys on my keyboard doing crazy stuff. All I want to do is set my spawn so I can teleport here when I die. There we go. Set the spawn, and if I can get out of here, woohoo! We survived. All right, so. Anyway, uh, I'll wrap the episode up here for now. I'm going to clean my inventory out again, but I keep running out of space. And uh, maybe think about what to do next down there. I, I definitely want to get some more armor upgrades. We're up to, you know, 33 defense, but I could do with some more. Um, some weapon upgrades, magic spells, you know, all that cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.